Hello everyone, Warcraft Rumble has officially launched inside the Philippines. Today I'm going to guide you through how to download it and show you a little bit of the gameplay and talk about the game itself. From my understanding, this is currently only available on iOS, Android. If you search for it, you'll be seeing a pre-register button. And if you ever switched your app store on iOS before, this one's going to be a little bit trickier for you because with the Philippines, you can't select a credit card of none through the app store settings. So what you actually need to do is go over to your web browser and search Apple ID. And this is where you can go and change yours. I usually have a couple different Apple IDs so I can just switch back and forth a little bit easier. So you might want to create a new Gmail or even just create a new Apple ID altogether. By going to this website, you will be able to select an option to put your credit card as none. With the Philippines, you have to either put a credit card in, which if you put your own credit card in and you're out of the Philippines, it's not gonna work. You could go and link up a Gcash or a Shopee, but both of these are requiring a phone number that's actually registered inside the Philippines. So this is why we're going to the website. Now, when you go in, obviously you select your credit card to none. And for the other credentials, I usually use my name as regular. For the street name, I make some goofy one up. I think I use 122 Philo Street on this one. The big ones that are going to matter here are going to be the postal code, the city, and the county. And just to be safe when it comes to the phone number, I always look up an area code for the first uh, three digits or so. I think this one I use 032, and then I just put my regular seven digit phone number afterwards. For the postal code, I Google that, just postal code, capital, zip code of Philippines. I think it was something like a thousand or 10,000. And then for the city itself, I'll just go and find out what the capital is and then use that. The county portion, I just go and select any of the drop downs there and it seems to work every time. But once we had that, you can then go save and submit it. Now what you actually need to do is go over into the settings of your phone and log out of your current Apple ID. I highly recommend that you turn your keychain on when it prompts to say, do you want to save your health or transfer your health or your keychain? Turn them on. If you're unsure about anything at all, turn it on. There's nothing worse than when you forget to turn the keychain one on and you lose every single password you had saved inside your iPhone. Once you log out of that, you can then log in with the new Apple ID that you have, and then you can head over to the App Store, search Warcraft Rumble, and you'll see it. There's not a VPN that's extra required on this. This will work just fine like this. And once you download it, there's no need to stay logged in on this. You can go and switch back over to your regular Apple ID. I haven't played Clash Royale in a while, but I would put it on point with this type of gameplay. There's a couple of extras in there. For example, you can have a miner to go over these gold ores and mine them, get some ore out of it. And there's even chests that'll pop up every now and then where when destroyed, you'll get a certain amount of gold. There is what I would call midway markers on it where it's kind of a point where once you take it over, you can go and spawn your troops a little closer to the enemy. And those can be battled back and forth to whoever wants to own it. And these also come in forms of towers, ballistas, and I imagine there's probably a ton more. I'm still pretty new to the game myself. My progress so far is I am on the second region and I did unlock the PvP. I will say this game is pretty fun, but it hasn't really been anything yet that extremely wowed me. Although once I get done with this video, I will go back to playing it. So far, the only thing I've encountered is two different paths that you can go on. And there is these selector arrows on the screen that you can go and tap to change the direction of which way you want to go. So far, the directions for me have only been in two different ways. It does feel like the towers and your home base inside this are extremely strong and your troops are extremely weak, but this could just be because it's so early in the game for me. I would say the tutorial on this wasn't really long winded and if anything, they probably gave you less information than more. It was more just kind of throw you out there and see how it goes. Your deck is going to consist of one leader and six other cards. And once again, think of it as Clash Royale style. You're going to have tanks, you're going to have melee, you're going to have flying ones and you're going to have spells. I haven't gotten far enough in the game to unlock yet, but it does look like there is talents that will unlock eventually, which will probably take it to the next level. When upgrading these things, it's kind of similar to grabbing the chest and once again Clash Royale, where you have a choice to pick between one or two that you want to upgrade. It looks like as you progress, you will unlock guilds, and when you progress far enough, there is dungeons inside the game. When it came to the PvP, it really didn't feel too much different from playing the campaign itself, but I think that's because it's so early in the game and I'm probably playing a good amount of bots. I do like the graphics inside the game and sometimes it did feel a little choppy, but I think that might just be related to cell phone reception and just day one launch. But overall, this is actually a fun game and I'm kind of curious to see what else comes along as I unlock more and looking to see what they bring in future updates. As I said, think of it as Clash Royale with some extra stuff inside it with a little bit of a Blizzard twist on it. 
If you want to know what's going on inside the game Snaker right now, or check out the new mode and Matchmasters, check out these videos right up over here. Thanks for watching, and remember, I pick my butt.